Hello, this is Ken being brutally honest, and I'm here to deliver some good news. But first, um, we think you can please hit that subscribe button, um, hit the notification bell uh, to get the latest uh, news from me. Um, wherever I can deliver it, you know, life is pretty regular around here, and you know, I pretty much do YouTube as a as a hobby right now, but. Um, it, it's, it's, you know, you know, I'm, I'm elated to deliver this news. I'm a born and raised in Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, this would be a big moment for me and the people of the city. Uh, Stephen Reed, uh, he's a really good guy. Um, back in, he was elected to be uh, Montgomery, Alabama's first black which was a, an accomplishment. Imagine being, imagine being a, an attorney who becomes a politician that becomes two first black something. First off, he was the first black as of yesterday to an overwhelming amount of votes over his opponent. He is now the first of Montgomery, Alabama. Congratulations. In his 200-year municipal history, there is no black, black man to the highest position of government in Montgomery, Alabama. Um, Alabama is also a place of the civil rights movement, and in my opinion, and made the most successful black protest in, in African-American history than Montgomery the most successful, the one that actually moved a nation to change. <laughs> and Montgomery, Alabama recently without its issues. I mean, yes, we had a, like a couple years ago, crime and murder. Um, I always urge people to, you know, vote for go go vote in your local elections. Don't just vote in the presidential election because if you really want some tangible change, um, uh, the effect of Montgomery, Alabama is over half of the city's population. So if, if, you, if you're black, you, um, you can rally up a bunch of people to vote and and make a difference. I don't know why this right here wasn't done a lot earlier. I, I mean, and there has been other other cities, you know, toward the end of the 1960s that started to elect black mayors. So this is a very important moment in uh, the history of, and like I said, I'm proud to deliver this news now. Uh, I elect Stephen Reed, and I think that he is going to be sworn in on November the 12th, uh, succeeding Todd uh, Strange. Uh, yes, um, I, I can tell you a little bit about with my history with the Reeds. Uh, his his brother, Joe Morgan Reed, also helped me through a misdemeanor marijuana charge. <laughs> And I mean, like, he was a very assertive, adamant brother. And I mean, you know, brother had, had um, he was a very, who just got called on. But um, also, their father was a very prominent figure in Montgomery, um, Joe L. Reed. Uh, Joel Reed uh, had a state, well, had a best arena named after him um, called the Joel Reed Akinone, but since then the name has changed uh, due to some misappropriations. So, uh, yeah, let me show you a video. <laughs> let, me, let me show you a video of Stephen Reed uh, after he won the election. Um, just, 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 just for some visuals. Uh, 
also, uh, this is Stephen Reed with uh, his family. Um, very, very dedicated family man. Uh, beautiful family. He actually has three children. Uh, he has an older daughter as well. So let me see if I can go ahead and get to this video real quick. And the headline reads from the Montgomery Advertiser. Yes, I grew up walking into gas stations looking at that paper stacked up. Uh, Montgomery, Ella... Montgomery Stephen Reed makes history as a city first African American mayor. All right. Uh, Stephen Reed beat out uh, philanthropist and television station owner David Woods. Yeah, I remember growing up watching the local channel WCOV, uh, uh, which was a channel owned by David Woods. Um, uh, since I wasn't in, since I've been gone from Montgomery for six years, you know, I didn't, you know, I didn't really know that David Woods had gotten into politics, but, um, he didn't win. So let me go ahead and play this video for everyone. Uh, this is Stephen Reed. Oh boy, I guess I have to refresh the page. Just bear with me for a moment. Just bear with me for a moment. I want to see if I get this video to play. I know people who aren't routinely from Montgomery, Alabama watching this probably might not have any interest in this, but hey, you know what? If Stephen Reed is a research, I mean, if he's a, a query term in YouTube, you know, people will find this video. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And if uh, you didn't hear what I said before, yes, I was born and raised in Montgomery, Alabama. Oh, look at that. Let me cut away from that for a second. Yep. And this beautiful black family again. Because I know how some of y'all are out there. Oh, is he, does, does, he, does he love the black family? Yeah, he loves the black family. <laughs> he has a black family. I'm just waiting for this video to load. <laughs> Man, the ads, the ads, stop, skip it. Oh, there he is. That's the names of people that we talked to over the last six and seven months about what they wanted to see in Montgomery, what they wanted out of their leadership, what they wanted us to do better to improve their lives. Things like being more. Things like making sure that the activism is run in the school. Things like making sure the public transportation is available. Things like making sure that their community center is available to young men and young women who are coming to the exam programs. These are the things that we heard throughout this city. And these are the things we will pass it down that we will do and we will do with excellence. Regardless of anything that may divide us or may be different from one another. We have been focused on day one about the things that make us better, the things that unite us. And this is what I see in this crowd, and this is what I see in the results of tonight with a unified Montgomery. And let me tell you that Montgomery is a city with limitless potential. It's a city that has no limits outside of our own imagination. The only thing that us back is our fear. We will embrace the belief that we can do more together than we can. I promise you, we want to accomplish. No, no city, no community should be defined by the worst things that have happened. You grow from those things. And looking at our results tonight, and looking at this crowd tonight, and looking at all the support, we have grown a lot. And I think you deserve a round of applause. That we have to make sure that we, that we tackle the issue regarding regarding free k and my quality free k program. I want to make sure that you go to college that you can participate in this program that you can make more money in my lifetime. That was a good presentation. Uh, appreciate the person who. Uh, to um, um here, here um my challenge to the people of Montgomery, Alabama who went down yesterday to those voting booths and cast your vote. 
we have a chance to show the rest of the nation, just like we show the rest of the civil rights movement, that we can make a difference. One show them that is actually worth it to vote. This is what happens. And um, yeah, I'm going to reference Bernie Sanders real quick. Bernie Sanders says when Democrats turn out, when, when there's a high turnout of Democrats, the Democrats always win. When there's a low, when there's a low voter turnout, the Republicans win. The people in Montgomery, Alabama, believe that they could make a difference, and this is the result: they break a glass ceiling that took two hundred years to break. Excuse me, to break. Uh, again, congratulations, Stephen Reed. Please, please help make that city better. Make that a city where kids can grow up in and they don't want to move away. Because this is this is one thing that I grew up with. Uh, when I was younger, the kids who grew up in the city always wanted to leave the city and go elsewhere. This is probably one of the things that I feel like is wrong with Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, kids, they grow up in the city. I mean, the smarter kids, they go venture off elsewhere and they move away. And um, due to the conditions that the city is in, uh, which is like some of the uh, parts of town are really developed. The, uh, some of the other parts of town have been abandoned. And, um, and, and a lot of that is the city's fault and so much more of it is the people's fault because when it boils down to it is about personal choice. You can choose to behave a certain way. Um, but for right now, this is encouraging for the people of Montgomery, Montgomery, you know, the people of Montgomery, Alabama is having their moment. Now, now that this is done, there is more work to do. I would say be a black official who has made more of a tangible difference than our black president that we recently had. I mean, I do believe this guy is the man for the job. I do believe that the people of Montgomery, Alabama elected the right person. But time will tell. <laughs> time will definitely tell it, just like they told it with Obama. So, uh, we will see. But again, congratulations to Stephen Reed. Uh, he's definitely an accomplished man. And uh, citizens of Montgomery, Alabama, this man right here is going to need your support. No one man can do it alone. <laughs> you know, just like I used to tell people back years and years ago about Obama. No one can do it alone. It's going to take an effort to get things to where they need to be. Congratulations to Stephen Reed. This is Kev and Kev We Trust. Subscribe and goodbye for now.